I've coached a lot of people over the years, and so I think about the way he coached me that first time, mm -hmm. you know, and I've always, always, always talked to people about being authentic because when people become, when they get their first leadership job, their first executive job or whatever, they think what they have to do is project perfection and project being um, the most knowledgeable mm -hmm. and perfect being the one that makes the right decisions in every situation. And it brings an enormous amount of pressure and stress onto them. When we first started working together, you were at Honeywell. You were, right. I think, the director of engineer, and then you became vice president. Right. And now all of a sudden you had a lot of direct reports. You know, right. And the pressure was really on. Since then I actually ended up working with a lot of other executives, and so this conversation that you're referencing, I've kept seeing showing up over and over and over again, is that just because you're vice president, you're now a CEO, you're a board chair, doesn't mean this imposter syndrome doesn't come out. Like, Everybody, a lot of people have that. Yeah. So no, you're not the only one. If they only knew, is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make you successful, getting up to that point, and some people would kind of zero in on it, and I knew what mine was, and what mine was was being over prepared for everything. Mm -hmm. I was. I knew more about whatever it was that we were going to talk about. I knew more about it than anybody in the room. Mm 